What's up, Get Better Basketball community? I'm Coach DeMarco, and this is Focused. In today's episode, I'm going to break down the final possession from the 76ers Celtics Game 1. But before I jump into it, make sure you check out this special offer from Dr. Dish Basketball. Get yourself a brand new Dr. Dish CT+. Plus. Get yourself a brand new Dr. Dish all-purpose shooting machine. Mention the Get Better Basketball chat or hashtag GBetBBChat for up to $300 off a brand new Dr. Dish shooting machine. And make sure you check out the all-new Dr. Dish CT+. Plus. It'll help your team to become the best shooters they can be and knock down this shot like we're going to see James Harden do in this video. And now let's focus in on James Harden's game winning shot. When they talked to Harden after the game, I found it really interesting. He mentioned his ball screen action. And he said as he was coming off this screen, he was expecting, or, or I guess kind of waiting for two on him. The Celtics did double team him at times in this particular game. So he thought he might get smart and he might get Horford to both jump to him. And I think that's where Tucker was going to settle into the middle and Harden was going to hit him. And then Tucker could potentially start to attack the paint and he had options to kick out. And you see the spacing uh, on, on the sideline. Tucker sets great screens for them. So they used him in this ball screen action, but they also used him in this ball screen action because it gave them a matchup with Horford one versus one. And I think they felt like you had Brogdon, Brown, Tatum, and Smart. That's the matchup that they wanted to get in this particular situation. So now Harden recognizes, okay, I got Horford one versus one, and now I'm going to look to attack and see what I can get off of this action. So Harden's going to start to make his moves, and he's going to hit what's a great game-winning shot against Horford. I think as we look back at this play, the Celtics probably should double team Harden in this particular situation. I don't know if there's other options they want to think about in the ball screen action. They were soft hedging or drop coverage with uh, Horford. I think that they were worried in this situation. If they had gone to that, Harden could have got downhill into the paint with the one point game. They felt like he could have got a shot. They, they believe the switch was their best option in this situation, so they went to it. So the 76ers get the matchup that they want, and they get Harden one versus one. You know, the, the Celtics could have sent the double team in this particular situation. They don't. Um, I think that, you know, they felt like they would take their chances with Horford up on him. Horford is pretty tight. He does get a hand in his face. He is a little bit of a longer uh, defender, so I don't know you can get a much better contest on that shot. But the other thing I want to look at here is if the Celtics do send a double team, it's going to have to come, probably going to come from this right side of the floor, which will Harden will have a chance to attack the left. Celtics could have two defenders to close out. The tricky part is that P.J. Brown is settled in here. So if Harden did pass to this side of the floor to find the open player and Brown rotates out, it's a pass to the corner, and this player rotates out, Tatum would have to get down quick enough onto Tucker. That might not be something that the Celtics are able to do in that situation. I also think, you know, they set it up this way because you have Tatum, if Tatum comes up in double teams from this side of the floor, you could have Smart uh, rotate over into the paint to help out. But they're really just trying to give Harden an opportunity with space up at the top and to work off of Horford. He does, and he knocks down a great three. When the 76ers get the matchup they want in this pick-and-roll action, Harden's going to go to work, and the rest is history. Going to have to see the Celtics make an adjustment in these situations so they don't make the same mistake twice. If you like this video breakdown, then make sure you hit that like button down below, turn on your notifications, and subscribe to Get Better Basketball on YouTube for more great video breakdowns each and every week. As always, get better every day.